in today's video we are going to discuss a new one topic of theoretical probability distribution and this topic is very important this topic is called poisson distribution h i have written on the blackboard this distribution was given in 1837 simon denison poisson and in the name of the simon denison poisson this distribution is called poisson distribution especially this distribution is used when the probability of a event is very low and non probability of the event is very high then we will use the poisson distribution it means when the probability of occurrence of a event is very low and the probability of non performing performing of the event is very high then we will use the poisson distribution like for example a book which is published in a very reputed printing press number of spelling mistake mistakes in this books so there will be very less probability is over there suppose that book contains 2 lakhs words is over there and among 2 lakh words 5 or 4 uh, spelling mistake is over there then the probability of having the spelling mistake is very low probability of non uh, having no non spelling mistake is very high so we will say this this refer to the poisson distribution similarly a blade manufacturer manufactured in the factory the probability of having defective blade is over there so the probability of having defective blade is very low and probability of non defective blade is very high then we will use the poisson distribution we can say if in a match number of the goal in a football match is over there so the probability of moving towards the goal is very high but converted converted in the goals is very low is over there a persons who are having 10 years old the probability of having white hair to those of the uh, child which have 10 years uh, age is over there so there is a probability it's very low one or two hair may be white and remaining all may be black is over there so this type of the conditions we have to do the use of probability uh, uh, poisson distribution some more example for the uh, poisson distribution in a city number of the suicide attempts by renowned person of the city so there are so many renowned person in the city over there among low lake or two lake person is over there one or two may be having try of committed the suicide is over there so the probability of making the suicide is very low probability of non making the suicide is very high is over there so with the help of this uh, we can say that poisson distribution we will use in in such of the condition where the probability of a, a event is very low and probability of non occurrence is very high it means suppose the probability of occurrence is 0.001 and not occurrence is 0.999 then we will use the poisson distribution so this this is very clear that poisson distribution will we will use the poisson poisson distribution when the probability of a event is very low and probability of not happening the event is very high then we will use the poisson distribution there are some terms <coughs> terms of the <coughs> poisson distribution for poisson distribution the very first we calculate value of n that is np for calculating poisson distribution the very first we will get the arithmetic mean of the poisson distribution so arithmetic mean of the poisson distribution that is called m m is equal to x bar so calculating n multiply by p we are having the arithmetic mean of the poisson distribution then using this m we are having probability of x that is e raised to power minus m m raised to power x factorial x this is the formula for the poisson distribution we have to use this formula for the poisson distribution 
for that we have to calculate value of e raised to power minus n the very first we should so we should learn the what the poisson distribution is over there the very first for calculating the poisson distribution we will calculate the arithmetic mean of the poisson distribution that is np secondly the formula for the arithmetic um, for the poisson distribution is e raised to power mi minus m m raised to power x divided by factor x so how we will get get the value of e raised to power minus m value so the e value is 2.71 2.7183 the value of e is 2.7183 so for getting e raised to power minus m which is e raised to power m so we will having 1 upon 2.7183 raised to power m on we can write 1 upon nt log log 2.7183 multiply by m for calculating this we have to use e raised to power minus m if this power goes to downwards so it will convert it to e raised to power uh, e raised to power m the value of e is 2.7183 so writing 2.7183 raised to power m if you are taking log in this here so the that will be anti log and log 2.7183 multiplied by m so for this anti log log 2.7183 ha having 0.4343 value multiply by m for calculating this we are having the reciprocal anti log 0.4343 multiply by m so we are having the value this is anti log reciprocal anti log 0.43 e raised to power minus m so the very first we should calculate how to calculate again i am discussing how we will calculate e raised to power minus m the very first m value is np this is the arithmetic mean of poisson distribution and formula for the poisson distribution is px that is e raised to power minus m m raised to power x divided by factorial x this is the formula for the poisson distribution now how we will calculate the e raised to power minus m so here we have discussed e raised to power minus m the very first minus m converted to plus m then value of e is 2.7183 jor there so we are using uh, we are writing the value of 2.7183 value of e raised to power m now taking anti log here so log m raised to power n is equal to n log m so if you are taking uh, log here so m will be converted we are having m log 2.7183 is over there so the value of 2.7183 we will see 2781 at here so we are having 0.4343 the value of log 2.7183 and multiply by m this all are in downwards so getting this we are having the reciprocal of this so the reciprocal anti log e raised to so here the value of e raised to power minus m that is reciprocal of anti log 0.4343 multiply by m so this will be the value of e raised to power m e raised to power minus m that is reciprocal anti log 0.4343 multiply by m for getting this now how we will calculate poisson distribution this is the this is the method of getting e raised to power minus m now how we will use the poisson distribution we will learn here here we are having formula p raised to power p x is equal to e raised to power minus m m raised to power x divided by x if i am writing x is equal to 0 then p 0 is equal to e raised to power minus m 
m raised to power 0 by factorial 0 that is e raised to power minus m 1 upon 1 or we are writing e raised to power minus m because m raised to power 0 is equal to 1 factorial 0 is also 1. Now, if I am writing x is equal to 1, so p 1 that is e raised to power minus m, m raised to power 1 upon factorial m, so e raised to power minus m multiply by m and e raised to power minus m is p x 0, so we are having p x 0, sorry, p 0 multiply by m. Firstly, learn the formula is p x is equal to e raised to power minus m m raised to power x upon factorial x is over there so here if i am writing x is equal to 0 so this is p x 0 e raised to power minus m m raised to power 0 upon factorial 0 m raised to power 0 value is 1 factorial 0 value is also 1 so this will be 1 upon 1 that is e raised to power minus m if i am writing x is equal to 1 so p 1 is equal to e raised to power minus m m raised to power 1 upon 1 because x is 1 so, x value is 1 divided by factorial 1 that is e raised to power minus m multiplied by m. Here, e raised to power minus m is equal to p x 0. So, I have, it, I have written that p x 0 and multiply by m. If I am writing x is equal to 2, then p is 2 e raised to power minus m m raised to power 2 factorial 2. We are writing e raised to power minus m multiply m m by 2. What I have written? m raised to power 2, I write m and m and factorial 2 is over there. Here, e raised to power minus m and m is this, p raised to power 0 and x. This is p1. So, we can write p1 m raised to power m by 2. Okay. What I have read? p x is equal to e m multiply by m. So, I have written the value of this is p x p 1 if i am writing x is equal to 2 so p x will be 3 x is equal to 3 so p 3 e raised to power minus m m raised to power 3 upon factorial 3 so having e raised to power minus m okay multiply m raised to power 2 by 2 and 1 by m raised to power 3 m by 3 What I have written here, e raised to power m, m3 I have converted m2 multiply by m and factorial 3 is equal to 3 multiply 2 multiply 1. Factorial 3 that is 3 multiply 2 multiply 1. So, here 2 multiply 1 and here 3 is over there. This all value are equal to p2 as you see e raised to power 1 m square by 2 p raised to power m m square 2 so we will write p 2 m upon 3 okay is, similarly if i am writing x is equal to 4 so p 4 that is e raised to power minus m m raised to power 4 upon factorial 4 so e raised to power minus m m raised to power 3 upon factorial 3 and m by 4 okay so here is also here this value is equal to this this value equal to p x 3 so we are writing p 3 m by 4 similarly we can having p 4 m by 5 p 5 m by 6 writing ok so we are having this value if x is equal to 5 is over there p4 that is e raised to power minus m m raised to power 5 upon factorial 5 so e raised to power m m raised to power 3 upon factorial 4 multiply m upon 5 that will be this so if i am totaling this this value i i will get what here it means here p0 is over there, then p1 m2, then p2 m by 3, then p3 m by 4, then p4 m by 5, then p5 m by 5. Similarly here, pn is over there. So, that will be pn minus 1 m by n. 
because 5 is over there so divided by 6 is over there so n plus 1 is over there okay how we now how we can calculate this formula for that so come to the formula we are having p x m raised to power minus e raised to power minus m was common okay if i write think 0 is over there so there will be 1 then m by then m then this for 0 this for m by 1 then m square by factorial 2 then m raised to power 10 by factorial 3 plus m 4 by factorial 4 m n by factorial n so if you are adding all these we will having 1 plus e raised, 1 plus m raised, okay So, we can write p x is equal to e raised to power minus m, m raised to power x divided by factorial x. This will be the formula of by, by Poisson distribution. If total number is n, then p x will be capital N e raised to power minus m m raised to power small x divided by x. So, we will use that formula for the Poisson distribution. So, with the help of this video, we may we may be calculate that Poisson distribution we will use when the occurrence of an event is very low and occurrence of non-event, non-occurrence of the event is very high is over there. It means the such kind of the event when the probability of happening that event is very low and probability of non happening that event is very high then we will use the Poisson distribution is over there for Poisson distribution we will use the formula that is px n e raised to power minus m divided by mx divided by factorial x is over there so whenever we will having the question of the Poisson, Poisson distribution we will use that formula so in next video we will uh, having some uh, we will solve some question of the Poisson distribution and at that we will use in this formula for the Poisson distribution. So, I think this video will be helpful for you to know what is Poisson distribution and where we will use this Poisson distribution is over there. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you once again.